Now the recording's back. Lights on. Lights off. <laughs> <laughs> It's just low beam, then ow my eyes, ow my eyes, and then lights off. Okay, now I'm getting the ethereal, ooh, isn't that pretty music? <laughs> it's like, it should be the, oh, you are you would be getting toasted right now, music. So, <laughs> Looking for the uh, orbit position, or the... Uh, So I wonder how we get to the bearing of that right there. Mm. Oh, the big crater? Yeah. I don't know. Usually when coming in to land on this sucker, you don't have enough time to think about where you want to. Although, I mean, we had a good, from the, from the time I made interface with the planet, mm -hmm. we had probably a good five minutes of super cruise time before absolutely having to put down. Uh, and probably another ten minutes before that sound started. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, click on the, there you go. As it zoom on in from there, and you can see where we are in the orbit. Keep on zooming. And then if you click on A1 and continue scrolling, it'll continue zooming in. There we are. I guess I can't target can't target the star from the SRV. It's a, if you target the star, you can, it would tell you your distance, but I don't know the SRV can do that. I don't think it can. Uh, yeah. Not an available target. starting to get curious now. I'm getting a real good uh, wave signal pretty much straight ahead here. I'm going to see what this rock is. It seems it seems within about 100 meters. So. ridge here. Slowly over the top of the hill. Got a target. Got an outcrop. I got another one over here. Manganese. Uh, 
Iron arsenic. I have not picked up much of that. Right. All right. Do that. Iron nickel. Gonna open your open your cargo scoop, Paul. There we go. See, a nice thing about breaking these things open on a high gravity planet, everything just drops in one spot. Just yeah. Slip it up. Yeah. And I'm stuck. I am going to give you something to drink while I'll be right back, okay? Alrighty. Sounds like a good idea.
okay. Hmm, the horizon's getting very bright for some reason. Same here. Hmm. Glass of milk and a nutty buddy. Oh man! I got a container. I got I got water and a uh, big container of dry roasted peanuts. So. <laughs> it's it's a nutty buddy, just more of its its raw form. I was trying to. Just imagine that the sound I'm hearing, it's not the it's not the synthesis of ridiculous amounts of five different types of radiation trying to rip the shield off my SRV. That's a that's the pleasant sound of a br I think we're about to see White Dwarf Sunrise here. I think we're about to. It's a pleasant sound of of the ocean or uh, you know, just nice cool Nah, you're gonna die. <laughs> Glad we ain't worried about having kids anymore. Well, <laughs> Al's pretty much done with it. That that's a done deal here, brother. And so that ship done sailed. Yeah, that's that's got a hot spot in the middle of it there. Wow, that's That's kind of shifting around for realsies there. Peek along the back side here. Okay, so now the the stream actually spans from horizon to horizon. If you zoom way back on the exterior camera, you're actually actually going right down the throat of the thing. Whoa. Oh, it is going from horizon to horizon now. Yeah. Wow. And here comes sunrise. Yeah. Alright, so depending on which... So here's the thing, this this planet's got a 88 minute orbit, but I think rotationally it's like a multiple of four or something like that. So I don't know if we're actually about to see it pop back down under the horizon and come up behind us. We're actually going to see white dwarf rise here. I think I'm gonna want my SPF five million squared <laughs> for, what, for what's about to come over the horizon. Now, can you can you tell wow. any gravitational lensing? Not yet. Let's zoom in. Oh, ow, my eyes! <laughs> ow, my ow, eyes! My yep. eyes. Yep. Ow! Oh. Dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I 
these uh these sunglasses are transparent lead, right? Is that... <laughs> Holy snakies. Would this be a bad time to do a ship recall? Yeah, I think it would. I have a feeling we're inside the... Not just inside the, uh... The jet. I think we're in the exclusion zone by now. I was gonna say, I think we're in the exclusion zone at this point. Yeah. I can't imagine how fast and fatal it would be to launch right now. Uh, yeah, I don't think it would last very long at all. Oh, hello. How about a screenshot or five? Because that is just insane right there. The sky's looking a little weird. Like, on a close zoom in, it's almost as if the stars are going two different directions. I think we're getting close enough for the lensing effect. Pretty quick here. Well, the guy playing the nice, pretty piano just panicked and left. Hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> so you're, on, you're on your own now, man. My piano just caught fire and spontaneously imploded. I think in honor of the ridiculous amount of heat that would be happening on board the ship right now, I'm going to have a uh, crystallized ginger slice. <laughs> So we're at 1.45 latitude. See, that's... See, I, I read somewhere that 45 latitude was like the best spot to watch from. This planet must orbit at a funny angle. So you, you assume that north is top of the orbital line, and that's not the case. So we're technically at the rotational top pole. So I'm not sure what kind of a view we'll get.
you know, peek at the orbit line, <clears throat> at the orbit map. All right, so yeah, it definitely does update. We are uh, we're halfway down the throat here. Too bad we don't have a third party member. Let's get a target lock on us from uh, out in the Super Cruise. Yeah. Where are we at? Before you take it, turn off the, uh, the UI. How do you turn the UI off? What key is that? Bottom right corner, hide UI. Looks like it's C. Find that button on this thing here. I wonder if this looks any different in uh, <clears throat> in Odyssey mode. Like, do they actually light? You'll notice the stars technically not actually lighting the ground here. Hmm. Because I don't think it's the primary in the system. You got the same dust on your lens as I have on mine. The wind is, the sound has stopped. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> I think we're, we're through the first jet and now we're going to whip around. I would be very bummed if it just pops right back down under the horizon here.
place north. So why would the latitude lines be increasing when I'm going north? Oh, I mean, I'm just above the equator here. How long would it take to go? time than I've got. Okay. I think we're actually out of one jet. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. Yeah. <laughs> that's usually not totally my thing. That's usually totally not. That's not only not your thing, especially on 1.5G gravity yeah, planet. Kind of spent all of the booster on that one. All right. So it looks to me. Right now, we've got the star in the middle, and we've got one jet top and away, and one jet down below. So you think it's safe to get so the ship and get out of here? Oh, no, because we're inside the exclusion zone. Okay, so we got to get out of the exclusion zone. So I think this close, just proximity, is going to mess you up. Sounds like the orchestra's starting up on your side. It is. It is. Okay, I can actually make out the star now. Really? Yeah. It's starting to actually get a shape. How close are we? Oh, yeah. This looks like more stuff starts to happen kind of quick. <sighs> Should have wiped the dust off my drone camera. Hmm. Is my eyes. Yeah, <laughs> so, I was really saying, yeah. zooming in on that. I mean, you think at this distance. You can start to see some lensing effect. 
Yeah. Reminds me of uh, waiting for that total eclipse back in 2017. <laughs> yeah. Did you get to see that? Uh, 2017, we was in Arizona. Yeah, there was a total yeah. eclipse right yeah. across the center of the U.S. Our alma mater, Bob Jones University, was in the path of totality, so we got to go right on campus and drive just a couple hours there. north and see it. It was so awesome. Uh... It's setting. And getting kinda closer <laughs> at the same time. Hmm. out our shadows hmm wow wow are we about to go through the other wow wow Whoa. Wow. You seeing this? Yes, I am. <laughs> All snap. Slingshot. Slingshot. Holy wow. crap, balls. Now look behind us. Turn around quick. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. <laughs> oh, so cool. <laughs> Right now, man. <laughs> Take a look at the ground. <laughs> it's hot pink. <laughs> <laughs> Still got a little, a little bit of lensing. I see it. I see it. Imagine how close that must have just been, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 
But we're still in the occlusion zone. Yeah, still in the exclusion zone right now. That uh, safe launch is in about 28, 28 minutes. Or some multiple of 88 minus 28 minutes. <laughs> Want to set an alarm for uh, you know 2.30 tomorrow afternoon sometime? <laughs> See if it's still lensing at this distance. Your query with Siri how long your um timer has left left. Uh showing Hey Siri, what's left on the timer? One hour and twenty eight minute timer, with about thirty one minutes remaining. Thirty one minutes. Okay. There's still a li if you zoom in tight, there's still a little bit of lensing. It's amazing. Dang. So now we're riding this other jet all the way back out. So that's where we are now, and that's the star. Yeah, it says here we are 0.78 light seconds, 0.79. You notice how this is updating every time I move the pointer away and back to it? Mm-hmm. 0.8 light seconds, 0 0.81, 0 0.82. <laughs> and what, two light seconds? How, how far does the, does the occlusion zone go out? Supposedly, exclusion zones at... Uh, 1.75 light seconds. So, so theoretically, once like we get to 1.75, we can call recall the ship. It should, it should be safe to recall. Yeah, 1.0.86, 87, 88, 90. It's too bad these numbers don't update. Like if you just hovered on it, it just like, yeah, just tick tick yeah. tick tick tick. So I'd say about ten so minutes, maybe. Yeah. Since you since you lost your ship that one time, <laughs> I will I will, re, I will recall mine first to see You'd what be, happens. Yeah. I'll be the guinea pig. Alrighty. And we'll do it when that hits what one point seven nine. 1.8. Yeah, we are 0 0.98. 0 0.99. That's I mean just gravitationally that's gotta slow down at some point. 1.01. 1.02. .01. I'm tempted now to try uh... recalling. No, 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 go around the other side of the planet. Like, sure. You know, recall, jump in the sure. jump in the ship to super cruise around the other side, land, and take another ride around. I don't know that I want. Well, we're not. I was say we're not. We're not. We're not. Um, at the one point seven nine though. No, no, it's not safe. You know, once once outside the exclusion zone, we could jump in the ships. Probably have about ten minutes to reposition and reland. Oh, well, it might be time to synthesize some SRV fuel here. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Don't want to die of that. Materials. Synthesize. SRV refuel. There we go. Everything's pink out here. Yeah. Rock. Oops. Hi. <laughs> All right. So we're getting a full, getting a full slow transit here. So where we were, the star, I'm just wondering if we do reposition for a better view, where would that be? Given the way this planet spins, um, actually faster than its orbit, or does it orbit faster than it spins? I just wonder if we spins. just wonder if we just stay in the same spot. If we'll just get a better view on the next pass without even doing anything, you know, to set uh, set a timer for um, let's see, eighty eight minutes minus whenever the you know, I mean set a timer for like. 45 minutes to just come back. <laughs> we'll probably be orbiting back in already. Hmm. Probably. But that is quite the light show, man. All right. System map. Where are we at? 1.35 light seconds. Yeah, look at that already. Already halfway back out. Man, that slingshot has got to be insane. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Looks like you've got about another third of a light second before we're outside the exclusion zone. All right, so now I'm going to check uh, Leap Dangerous, Planet of Death, Exclusion Zone, Distance. I want to double check that. Land while the planet is the farthest point. Stay there after the approach. Wait around 10 minutes, then board your ship. If you take off, you're inside the exclusion zone. And you'll be teleported out of the exclusion zone. Oh, really? Zone distance for White Dwarf. Well, let's see. 
Where are we at here? 1.58. Yeah, I think I think from a heat standpoint we're safe. <laughs> it's the not knowing what it does if you take off while you're in the exclusion zone area. 1.60. Six one, one six two. I'm going to stop recording.